Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have a very special unboxing for you guys because it's the first time I ordered uh, here. And um, it's also not your usual subscription box because um, what I did, I uh, ordered one of uh, the boxes that are made and curated by uh, the Leaky Ethic, aka um, Emma. She makes beautiful uh, keepsake boxes, but sometimes she uh, teams up with other small shops uh, to make like these small uh, subscription boxes. And uh, she did one for Godric's Hollow for around the Christmas days. So yeah, I got one. And as you can see, um, the box itself is already an item. Um, because, yeah, it was etched, I think, not burned, but more etched into the wood. So, yeah, really curious to see uh, what uh, is inside of this. Um, but first of all, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is uh, Megan, and welcome to Quill Scene. If you like things that are geeky, that have to do with magic, that have to do with Harry Potter, with Disney, with books, all that sort of stuff, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and hit that bell. And on that way, you'll always get a new notification whenever I upload something new. But uh, yeah, I think it's time to uh, grab our scarves and I think also our uh, handkerchiefs because um, we're going to Godric's Hollow. <laughs> So as usual, before we start, a little bit more information about uh, the Leaky Ethic. Uh, the Leaky Ethic is a one-woman shop, for as most as I'm aware. Um, Emma is the woman behind uh, the Leaky Ethic. Uh, she makes gorgeous keepsake boxes, but she also makes um, furniture, like like um, I've seen her do, like, how do you call it in English? Uh, drawer chests and stuff like that uh, that she Harry Potter fies but also with other fandoms and as I said she sometimes teams up with some other small shops to make um, a limited edition of subscription boxes such as this uh, Godric Hollows box now of course I didn't receive it like this it was um, yeah wrapped in uh, a normal cardboard box um, but the thing is that if you um, yeah subscribe or order because it's not really a subscription it's more like a custom order if you order uh, one of the boxes um, the box itself is also an item and then inside are a few more items um, so yeah if you're interested I link um, Emma's uh, Instagram account and also her Facebook page down below because she doesn't have a website uh, but yeah this is uh, what I got for the Godric's Hollow box and I'm going to give you guys a little close-up because as you guys can see um, Godric's Hollow is where um, James, Lily and baby Harry lived before uh, Voldemort came and uh, we can see in the drawing on uh, the uh, lid of the chest actually we can see of course the houses of uh, Godric's Hollow we can see the tombstones from the graveyard of uh, Godric's Hollow and of course we see uh, the silhouettes of Lily and James with a little baby Harry in the middle. Um, so yeah, I, I'm already pre prepared um, to get emotional by this box because I said this was Godric's Hollow, it was the home of the Potters, it was also the place they died. So um, yeah, I'm quite expecting of items that... Um, are quite emotional but yeah um, time for a sneak peek I would say so again a little close-up of the uh, gorgeous gorgeous wooden box and when we open it the first thing we see is of course some padded uh, paper and underneath are all sorts of items that are wrapped in several different packages Real curious to see what this is about because of course since the box itself is an item there aren't as many items inside of the box but still it's fun to you know see um, what's in it especially since it's all um, items from small shops that are often handcrafted so um, yeah let's go for the first one on top we have this uh, gorgeous blue package with a gorgeous sticker of a snowflake on it it feels soft. Now I'm wondering 
because she posted on Instagram a little spoiler and it had something to do with Hermione's uh, beanie that she wears when she and Harry visit Godric's Hollow in the Deadly Hallows, I think it is. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Now I have to rip the beautiful sticker. And we have, yes, as expected, we have a fun more lila i think it is it's not pink it's more lila beanie and it's ooh, it's a nice wool because you have like that this scratchy wool um that's the wool i hate because um, i can't stand to wear that but this one i'm going to see if it fits i never wore a beanie <laughs> before oh it's cute i like it i like it it's a bit hot for the moment um but yeah really cool start to the box and of course this is Hermione's um, beanie that she wore uh, when they visited the grave of Lily and uh, James Potter. So yeah, really cool start and very handy now that, you know, the winter days are coming. Uh, then we have more paper and something wrapped in bubble wrap. Let's see. Ooh, I can already see something orange pumpkin-y. I'm already thinking pumpkin juice. Mm, if I can get the bubble wrap out of the way. So inside I find this gorgeous candle and it says after all this time Godric's Hollow and then of course the date October 31st 1981 which was uh, the date um, that Harry uh, that Harry's parents died um, and on top we have like this gorgeous pumpkin that is sealed in with wax and it's like, ooh, it smells nice. It's an orange candle with lots of sparkles. Yeah, I like it. It's fun to have um, also a pumpkin juice candle. Um, but that it isn't like pumpkin juice all the way because it's a nice label that has, you know, the, the uh, Godric's Hollow, the Potter's Home. And then, of course, the, the after all this time, because Snape went in uh, to find Lily's uh, body. And yeah, it's oh, so emotional. And of course, it had to happen on Halloween, which is my favorite holiday. But still, um, yeah, I love the candle. And it's really fun that it's uh, this size and the shape of the, well, yeah, pot it came in is really fun. So yeah, nice item. Then we have this, and if I'm not mistaken, it's a coaster, Ooh. and it's a coaster from uh, The Seven Swans, which is the pub uh, in Godric's Hollow, and on the back it is said, handmade in Ireland by two Irish people on Irish wood, uh, the Dribbly Yak Company, and if I'm not mistaken, the dribbling yak companies also are also the ones who um, made the box. So yeah, really cool coaster. And um, yeah, I'm. I think they made the box, but I, I'll have to check the spoiler card. But yeah, really cool. It's nice to put my candle on. Oh yes, gives a rustic feeling. Uh, then we have a little velvet pouch with something round in it and we have tissue paper okay oh the feels the feels so it's an ornament that you can hang in your christmas tree but it's from um the rose wreath that um, Hermione conjures up uh, on Christmas Eve when she and Harry are uh, standing in front of James and Lily's gravestone. Aha, the feels. I That was such an emotional moment in the films and also in the books. So yeah, oh, this is gorgeous. I um, don't think I'm going to hang it in my tree. I'm probably going to display it somewhere. I don't know where yet, but... Yeah, I really like it, and especially since it's like a bit dusted with snow, so uh, yeah, really cute. And I think we already are at the end. 
front of the box because uh, this is the last package that I find. Again, in an organza bag. Put that one aside because those I don't throw out. Uh, again, blue the tissue paper. No, 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 don't do that. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> A bit covered in glitter but um yeah i told you all the feels it's a replica of the gravestone of james and lily including their um when they were born when they died and on the bottom it says um the last enemy that shall be destroyed is that so yeah all the feels. I, I, I was warned that uh, this would be an emotional box, but yeah, this is bittersweet, especially it's the, it's the right size to put the wreath with. So yeah, here we already have my um, display option. So yeah, really, really cool. It's also a replica you don't see often, even though it's really sad and stuff like that, but yeah, and I love the fact that it glistens a bit, like it's a bit covered in snow, so yeah, really cool. But sad, yet cool. Um, and as I said, it was the end of the box because we already have a uh, lost paper. And underneath that is uh, an envelope, and I want to open that one up. I guess this is supposed to be the spoiler sheet. Yes, we have the spoiler sheet. So, um, the Godric's Hollow box. Welcome to my Godric's Hollow box. I've gone for a different style box this time, as I think it really suits the theme. I really wanted a carved wooden box for this one. And it means that those of you who order my boxes regular regularly get something slightly different for your collection. That's true, because otherwise you always get, you know, the same type of box. So first of all, I would like to thank the fantastic guys at the Dribbling Yak for totally getting me and my IDs and creating these beautiful boxes for me. So it is from the Dribbling Yak they, who made these uh, stunning boxes. I'm going to show you guys again because it's just gorgeous. So this is what's made by the Dribbling Yak. I hope you like and enjoy uh, the items I've come up with inside the box. My take on what I think of when I picture Godric's Hollow. Of course, I have enlisted the help and talents of a few fantastic people. So here is the info on who made what for me. Check out their Facebook, Instagram and Etsy pages. So uh, the first one was, of course, this uh, hand-knitted Hermione's hat. And it was made by the lovely ladies at Anne or Anne's. Um, please hand wash and use a cool wash cycle. So yeah, this one I'm going to wear a lot during winter. Um, by the way, I will link everyone's info down below in the description box in case you're interested to check out their shops. Uh, then we had also the coaster over here of the seven swans that was also made by uh, the dribbling yak so the same guys who made the beautiful box as i suspected uh, then we had the lily and james rose wreath from hermione by sibuya moon studios this has been designed so it can be displayed with the gravestone by removing the cord or as a christmas tree decoration if you prefer yeah i'm going to i'm Pretty sure I'll just keep the cords and just you know display it like this but yeah really really nice and it's fun that she you know kept in mind that you could display it with this gravestone you know replica that it has you know the same proportions that it fits the item well so uh, yeah Speaking about the gravestone, this uh, Lily and James gravestone was made by the awesome agents of chaos props I had a fun time painting these. Oh, so she uh, hand painted them themselves. Really cool. But sad. Yet cool. But so sad. Can't help it. Um, and then the last thing was this uh, fun candle. The after all this time candle in house at the Leaky Attic. So Emma made these once herself. That was the end of the box. Um, 
as I said, this is my first time that I ordered from the Leaky Attic and I must say that I'm um, really, really happy with the contents. Again, even though they are, you know, right in the feels, but still, um, the items are really original. Um, also, I love the box, the fact that you can, you know, reuse the box um, to store things like candles or uh, maybe even pins or something like that or whatever actually you can put anything in those boxes plus they also are a great uh, display item um, so yeah I'm really happy that I got this box um, I already also ordered her um, she few months back she made a Tri Wizard box uh, Tri Wizard Champion box I think it was called um, and she made a few extra um, that she put on sale later and I got one of those too but I'm still waiting for that one to get in um, so yeah I'm uh, really curious to see what's in those um, picking favorites is really really hard because uh, I liked everything I like the box I like the coaster I even like the gravestone and rosary even though my heart is weeping when I say that. Um, I like the hat, I like the candle. So yeah, really great box. Also fun that it was all uh, packed in, you know, little packages and little parcels and little um, bags. So yeah, that's also fun to do. Um, but as I said, I will link um, Emma's um, socials down below. Uh, so everything from the Leaky, Leaky Attic will be linked down below. I'll also um, see what I can find in this spoiler card um, concerning the people who made the other items so I can link those also down below. As usual there will be lots of pictures on my Instagram account um, and there will also be eventually a blog post on my blog. I'm a little behind on those but I'm slowly catching up. Uh, my Instagram account and my blog is also linked down in the description down below so feel free to follow me there too. Um, also feel free to let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box um what do you think about you know giving the box as an item itself do you like it don't do you not like it and uh, what you think of the items was there something you didn't like was there something you missed in this box what was your favorite item just let me know down below and with that we survived our night very emotional night at godric's hollow uh thank you guys so so much for watching um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it because it helps you more than you know. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon for another Harry Potter magical or bookish video. Bye!